Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about Starling's Law. It tells you if stuff should get out of the vessel or, or come into the vessel. Here you have vessel, this is the vein, this is the artery, and this is the capillary. You have openings here, you have a thick wall here, you have a wall here. So stuff can go in and out in capillary. You have cells floating, and you have gigantic proteins floating, you have small proteins floating, you have big molecules floating, small molecules, you have lots of ions floating. And small stuff can go in and out here. Starling's Law tells you if they're going in or out, if so, how fast. First, the pressure artery tells you pressure in this artery, controlled mostly by the smooth muscle. And you have also pressure here, the interstitial space. So if you subtract this, then you get this one number that tells you who has better pressure. If this is winning, then stuff should go out. If this is winning, then stuff will be pushed in. And in addition to this hydrostatic pressure, you have another thing called colloid pressure. Again, you have one for the artery here, one for the interstitial. This artery, I mean the whole thing. The colloid pressure is ability of the liquid in this vessel to pull liquid into the vessel. If you have lots of stuff in this vessel, then all of these water want to go in. As water go in, the small stuff also flow with it and go in. So this is basically suction power of the vessel. So you have suction power of the interstitial as well. If you have lots of a solute outside, then these solute want to pull the water out of the a vessel and this pulls the small stuff out of the vessel too. Subtract this, gives you either positive or negative. Positive means this is winning. There's more sucking by the vessel, so things are coming into the vessel. And if negative, then there's more winning by this. So there's more sucking down by the interstitial space. Oh, by the way, all the stuff that gets sucked out into the interstitial space will eventually float out in the lymphatics. Starling's law is basically this term minus this term. PA minus PI tells you who has stronger hydrostatic pressure minus the colloidal pressure of the vessel minus the colloidal pressure of the interstitium. Unit of this is going to be pressure, but then what the Starling's law would do is multiply by some kind of constant and the final number is going to be D volume DT. If it is positive, stuff is going out. If it's negative, stuff is coming in.